In this lesson, we are going to revisit the nominative and accusative cases. We are going to be looking now at the indefinite article. In our previous lesson, we looked at the definite article or the way to say the. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the indefinite article, the way to say a or an. Our essential question remains, what are cases and how do they work? As a reminder, there are four cases in German. Cases deal with parts of speech. The first two cases you learn are the nominative case and the accusative case. Keep in mind the nominative case deals with the subject of the sentence and the accusative case deals with the direct object of the sentence. Another reminder is what is a direct object? To correctly use the accusative case, you must first understand what a direct object is. These are the basic reminders you were given in a previous lesson. The direct object is receiving the action in the sentence. The direct object is connected to the subject by the verb. And for basic statements, the direct object always follows the verb. I have changed the example slightly by going from a definite article to an indefinite article. I need a pencil. You can still ask yourself the question, I need, what do I need? I need a pencil. A pencil is the direct object. You already have this information in your notes from our lesson in Unit 4. In the examples to come, we will be looking at the indefinite article, so the row above, below the dotted line. In the nominative, ein, eine, ein, meine, and in the accusative, einen, eine, ein, meine. Keeping in mind, our masculine words are where we see a change, from ein to einen. And a reminder about the direct object in German. Ich habe ein Lineal. I have, what do I have? A ruler is the direct object. Er kauft einen Rechner. He buys, what does he buy? A calculator. That is the direct object of the sentence. Der Rechner is masculine. So it would be einen Rechner, using an indefinite article in the accusative case. A reminder about the helpful hints that were presented in the previous lesson. Just as den will never be first in the sentence, einen will also never be the first word in a sentence, because we do not put a direct object first. Ist, or the verb sein, indicates a subject, not a direct object. And again, our basic word order is subject plus verb plus direct object. Please write down these same 15 sentences from our previous unit and fill in the indefinite article in each sentence. So ein, eine, ein or einen, depending on if the word is masculine, feminine, neuter, or masculine direct object. Again, use a dictionary site such as leo.org to find out any definite articles that you are unsure of. Let's see how you did. Eins. Ich kaufe einen Computer. I buy a computer. The direct object, ein, would be einen. Zwei. Wo ist ein Buch? Where is a book? Dry. Er hat einen Kuli. He has a pen. Direct object, einen Kuli. Vier. Eine Gitarre ist ganz neu. A guitar is quite new. Fünf. Ein Junge heißt Georg. A boy is called Georg. Sechs. Ich brauche einen Bleistift und ein Papier. I need a pencil and a paper. Sieben. Eine Landkarte hängt da drüben. A map hangs over there. Acht. Wohin geht ein Mädchen? Where is a girl going? Neun. Eine Frau ist sehr nett. 
A woman is very nice. Zehn. Wir haben eine Klasse gern. We like a class. Elf. Wann beginnt ein Film? When does a movie begin? Again, the movie is doing the action if we answer this question. So it is nominative. Ein Film beginnt um zwei Uhr. A movie begins at two o'clock, would be an answer. Zwölf. Ein Fernsehprogramm is sehr interessant. A TV show is very interesting. Dreizehn. Ein Lehrer ist nicht nett. A teacher is not nice. Vierzehn. Kaufst du eine CD hier? Are you buying a CD here? Und fünfzehn. Ein Tisch ist sehr alt. A table is very old. So this lesson went very quickly because it piggybacks on a previous lesson. If you are still uncertain about the nominative and accusative cases or indefinite articles, please email your instructor.